Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I am sharing a huge box and some new products. So, firstly I want to say that this box was requested by Gloria. She um, makes cards that are, I believe, five by seven inches, um, which is a whopper card. I mean, that's huge. Five by seven inches is, gosh, what's that? It's about 18 by... 13 and a half centimeters it's a huge one that's a big big old card um and she asked if i could make a box that had half inch clearance either side and was one and a half to two inches deep so this box is finishing up at five and a half by seven and a half by two inches which in metric is 14 by 19 by five centimeters so that's a heck of a card that's going in there. I'd love to see them, Gloria. Please send me some pictures. But I promised her I would make a box for her. And I thought, what an opportunity to show some new stuff. So we have a new stamp set and die bundle called On The Farm. This is coming in the January to April mini catalogue. How cute are all those animals? And as soon as I saw them on stage, I was like, oh, I love it. But we have got free paper now the cost of the bundle is going to be 48 pounds 50 which means that you can get i'm just double checking the paper pack for free and it matches perfectly look and the dies will match perfectly so um obviously i've used a sheet of this tartan check on the back cows in a field with a scene and we did get some a great demonstration of this on stage and this is the one i'm going to be using now and look at that that's just that's a scene for a little boy or little girl's bedroom not sure about the vegetables broccoli corn peppers garlic cucumber radishes carrots i think that's probably it no peas there as well not so sure about that one, but I love it. I just, I saw it and I was like, <laughs> I need to get it. So let me put that to one side because I'm going to make a mess and I need my instructions because obviously I've written my measurements down. So you need two pieces, of, well, a piece of paper and a piece of card. Unfortunately, you're not going to get this out of regular size card because it's a whopper. Um, 11 and a half by nine and a half inches. Metric, it's uh 24 by 29 centimeters so why are the metric oh yes because we're international a4 we're gonna get it no we're not actually because it's 24 you're gonna need 12 by 12 cardstock to start with nine and a half by 11 and a half inches 29 by 24 centimeters and the same for the paper and you need it portrait style if you want it as a box like this or if you're giving a card that would be that way round go the other way but to get it this way you need your paper like that right where's my simply scored okay so super simple just score it at two inches on all four sides it's really easy with the lid it's a shade less than two inches it's like one and fifteen sixteenths but the easiest thing to do is just slide your paper out a little bit that's very exaggerated but just a little hair of a whisper out and do this two inches five centimeters so it's about 4.8 centimeters or one and fifteen sixteenths depends on you know what kind of scoring machine scoring tool you have Okay, have I done them all? Yeah. I'm going to put that on the floor, then hopefully it won't fall off. Right, so burnish these. This is Daffodil Delight. It's a great selection of colours. I can't show you because, you know, it's not live, but we've got Barney Blue, Cherry Cobbler, which would be that gorgeous, that gorgeous one back here. Cherry Cobbler, my favourite colour. Uh, Daffodil Delight, Garden Green, Pear Bazaar, Soft Suede, and I'm reckoning that there's other colours in there as well. So just burnish everything. I'm so excited to get the catalogue out to everybody. I'll be able to order from the 1st of December, so later at the back end of this week. They'll take a bit of a while to arrive with me, and then obviously I've got to process them. I need to get them all bagged up, cover letters written and everything, and then out in the post. So 
they generally <laughs> royal mail um strikes dependent they should be with you in the bit between christmas and new year okay i talked and didn't tell you what i was doing cut straight on the rectangle okay and then wedge on the square and you get these funny little weird triangle shapes and just keep doing that all the way around so yeah if you'd like a a free copy of the catalogue I can send them to look, I haven't had this out for ages let me move it so it's not in the light there you go the UK the Netherlands Austria Germany France Belgium and Ireland and I can send them in English French and German so just pop me an email or go to my blog and fill in the form poodlestock.co.uk you can fill in the form and I will send you one out for free I can't send them to, I can't send them to anybody outside of those countries and although we are open in um, um, uh, the United States Canada Australia and New Zealand I demonstrators there can get you a copy so somebody said recently oh you're from Australia no I'm from the UK I think I had been talking about a demonstrator who was in Austria, somebody on my team, lovely Astrid, and I think there was a bit of confusion. Uh, but no, I'm I'm very English. <laughs> right, okay, so I've repeated the same on the top and the bottom. This is such a simple box. The paper is going to do all the talking for me. The, oh, seriously, the cats are in my boxes. They are silly animals. Right, tear and tape on here. I would suggest that you possibly do that part of the tab as well, but I just, you know, your time's precious. I don't want to steal all your time watching me stick a thousand pieces of tear and tape down. Although, to be fair, this stuff is so strong. Seriously, she, I don't know what she's doing, but she's knocking stuff off on my desk. This is sorrel. Um, this stuff is very, very strong. So... Okay, <laughs> she's in a box behind me. I'm playing with the lid of the box. She was in. She was in the same box on Monday's video. It's because I'm filming today's video at the same time as Monday's video. Right, you're going to fold this up and make this lo loose edge, this open edge, match up to there, and that's going to form the side of your box. I just repeat all the way round. Seriously, I want to see cards like that. Please, Gloria, send me some pictures. And then the same on the lid. Oh, apparently I forgot to put my phone on silent. Oops. Does anybody else's phones give notifications for different things but with the same sound? I don't even know what that notification is for. Um, yeah, I do get confused. I don't know whether I should jump up and check it straight away or just ignore it because it's random. Right, and the lid is going to slip straight over and go all the way down to the bottom. And it's lovely. Right, we've also, also got a new ribbon. We've got a few new ribbons. But I liked this one because it's balmy blue and it's sort of a, it's an ombre. What's it called? Variegated ribbon in balmy blue. So it's both, it's blue blending into white. Lovely sort of ombre. And the ribbon is there just for aesthetics. It's not needed to keep the, the box closed or anything. It's very light, this ribbon, very, very fine. Um, I bet you could colour it with ink very well. Look at that bow. <gasps> it's my new favourite ribbon. It made my bow look good. That is fabulous. This is where I butcher it. There we go. Oh, 
I'm so happy with that. Right, I'm not going to do any die cutting. I just want to do stamping. And I want a little chick, the chicken. Oh, why is there no chick? Oh, is there a chick in the die bundle? There's ducklings. There's no chick. There's a chicken. Mmm. Oh well. We'll just have a chick and whatever else I fancy sticking on my piece of card. So. <laughs> definitely a chicken. What else do I fancy? Do I fancy a farmhouse? Yeah. I'll have one of them. Should I go like that? Yeah, that I think is fine. So. What I'm going to do is get a nice big block. And I'm going to put my little hen house there. And I'm going to get my hen right down here, quite close. And I'm going to get my memento. Tuck it down at the bottom of this piece of basic white. I'm going to get my trimmer and I'm going to cut to size. And I'm going to, what's that? That's two and an eighth of an inch because that's a helpful size. Two and one eighth. And two by two and an eighth. We'll make it like that. And then I've got the leftover bit of daffodil to light. I'm going to make it two and two eighths. That would be two and a quarter. <laughs> By two and one eighth. Oh dear. And that's going to sit on there. How cute. Very sweet. And that is in no way dry enough. For me to colour, but we're going to colour it anyway. Right, let me get... What colour is this one? Sweet sorbet. So we're going to... Oh. That's a cockerel. Oh, that's a chicken. Yeah, chickens do have red bits. <laughs> it's been a while. I grew up with chickens in the garden, but it's been a while. Let me find a little brown. What colour is that coming out? That's quite nice. So there we go. And then darker browns. For my barn. It's a barn, isn't it? It's not a house. What did I call it? Did I call it a house? I don't know. And this very dark one. And I fancy having a bright red door. I don't know why, I just do. So I'm going to take this. Is this, the, yeah, this is the dark sweet sorbet. I'm not colouring for blends aesthetic, I'm colouring because I can. And then Daffodil Delight from my window. And then I want a tiny bit of soft succulent light, <clears throat> just almost to ground, to ground my chicken and my barn. And I'm going to pop some glue on there obviously if you were doing as Gloria does and you're making a car to go in here you could put the outside to match the inside um, <clears throat> I'm just making it as a box and 
you know, birthday gifts and stuff. But yeah, you could, you know, while I've put barn animals on it, barn animals, farm animals on, you could put the decoration to reflect the gift inside. But I think they're really nice. And yeah, Gloria, thank you so much for requesting the box. It was a pleasure to do it for you. I will always help out. She caught me at just the right time. I happened to be about to do a design day. So I said, yeah, why not? And it gave me a project that I could share with you. Anyway, I hope you like it. I hope you like the new bundle and the free paper available from the beginning of January, 5th of January. Yeah, exciting times ahead. Bye.